It's leg day, let's get pumped, let's get pumped, let's get pumped. Let's run into this bed and maybe we can squish it. Huh, oh, oh, man. Oh wait, I did choke out thing, let's do that real quick. One night is 100... I'd always wondered if Santa was real. But that's what caused this problem in the first place. If children had faith, Santa wouldn't have been in such a bind. When did you start to doubt he was real? Mm, don't laugh. I won't. When I was eight. Aw, how sweet. Don't pick on me. How old were you? Ten. Ha! Look who's talking. Why quibble about age when you were both wrong anyway? Santa is real! I... I... I guess you're right. I hear Santa brings you everything you could ever want. I hope he brings me some food soon. Uh, Santa's not a genie. Plus, if Santa could give you anything, why would you choose food? I guess it was never a question of whether Santa was real or not for our tiny companion. What a childish thing to ask for. Mind your own business. Oh, boy. Oh, well, we're up to Santa. We're catching up, actually. This is good. It's basically Santa and then... So what, Empire? Well, I guess there's probably a few Empire scenes, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. It may end up that I just have to start showing two cutscenes at a time, I don't know. <laughs> this does have me a little concerned, especially with how close we are to... Well, once again, I keep saying that, but or I keep wanting to say that, and then stopping myself because this is not the end of the game. But, oh, hello. Final Fantasy 15, huh? You know, I haven't played that in pretty much about a year now. I had it sitting right here the whole time. It's such a good game, too. But, oh no, I guess not good enough. No, I'm just kidding. Man, Prompto and his Chocobo selfies, who could forget, right? Of course, he took just as many pictures of Chocobo butts as he did of their heads, so... I don't know, man. Got some pretty good shots of Gladio's butt, too, from what I can remember. Actually, I was about to say something, too, at the beginning of this episode, and I got sidetracked. Well, this dungeon. Okay, so, um... You know, for a while, about ten years ago, when I would go to sleep at night, I would imagine myself in this room. But the thing is, the room, I imagined a different version of this room where it extended out to the left a little bit. And there was like a river and like a really comfortable mattress or something over there. But there had to be a river because, you know, water flowing. Also, Pygmy. This is another thing. Okay, I said earlier in this LP that Pygmy like wore off on its own in the original game. And as I was watching this blind person stream it the other night, last night actually, they got pygmized. And it didn't go away. And I was like, wait a minute. I thought it did. I thought it wore off. And I guess maybe eventually it does, but... If it does, it sure was taking its time. I know that. Okay, so honestly, I love this dungeon. And not so much because of the dungeon, but just because... Ah. Uh, honestly, it's kind of hard to describe. The contrast between what's inside and what's outside of that one little cave entrance. I feel like almost like this is why caves are in video games. Because caves are cool. Man, I gotta level up that cure water. That only gave me half my health. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, you're going down. But yeah, just the idea that you could be so close to the beauty of nature and yet at the same time so surrounded by darkness and evil. I don't know. You are not hitting me with that, I'll tell you that. I mean, you can cast it all you want, but you're not hitting me with it. I'll tell you that right now. God, I love the spear in this. It's just so good. Uh, please don't do trap me again. Thank you. Should have used chocolate before I open it. You know what? Just in case I haven't uh, hit another one, might as well. Thanks. Alright, so at least I got somebody with an axe here. So here's these guys again. We all remember. Oh, no, you're on fire. Shoot. Get away. Get away. 
Don't be embering me. Don't do that now. Huh. Surprisingly easy enough to kill him without using magic. They're just not that great of an enemy, I guess. Okay, that was cool. I'm pretty sure I targeted the two that were there. Then they multiplied into three after I did that. But then it targeted all three. Okay, that's a dead end up there. Yeah, for some reason, every time I do this dungeon, I always forget something. So I'm gonna try not to do that this time. This is one of the things. You have to switch here to make a couple of platforms up there to uh, whip across that chasm later. But you could potentially go through the entire dungeon, get to that point, not have the whip platforms there, and then wonder what the hell you're supposed to do. So, lucky thing we hit that platform when we did. Because you have two ways to go over here when you come through this door. So, it could, it could, potentially, you could go down. And just continue through the dungeon and forget that that pathway was even there. Or forget that that... I don't know why I would say pathway, there's gotta be a better word for that. Forget that that route was even there? I don't know. <laughs> when there's two ways to go and you take one way, what do you call the other way? Alternate route? Alternate route? I don't even know. <laughs> Ow! Ha ha ha! on your butt. So we went, I don't want to miss this switch over here either, which opens that door down there. That, I believe, goes to an orb. Well, that's like right at the beginning of the dungeon. This is the beginning of the dungeon here. So we're just kind of above it right now. Which again is cool. Kind of reminiscent of Link to the Past's Eastern Palace. Get your ass down. It's a boot down. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Sometimes these guys can drop armor, so it's always worth a look. Yeah, we better we better fix that. Pigmentation. It's just a good thing I picked up that hammer after all. I didn't think I was going to be using it this soon. I was thinking about a certain boss later on that looks like a giant snake. Oh boy, these guys hurt. You know what? Do it again. Okay, Lucid Barrier. Well, there's a spell you probably don't want to see too often. That was Lucid Barrier, right? It wasn't Wall. I wasn't paying attention. Should have looked. Should have watched. No, that must have been Wall, because I just hit him there. Yeah, occasionally enemies like to cast Lucid Barrier. I don't remember if they do it much here. But, um... But boy, is that spell annoying. Because it's like, you're already hitting enemies and seeing no damage half the time as it is. To have a spell that makes it so that's what happens all the time? Yeah, that was Wall. Just excruciatingly annoying. I'm gonna switch back to myself here. Whoop. Yeah, this is always the part of the game where I try to go slow because you're getting those seeds so fast. It's kind of like. Ugh. This, I believe, yeah, it's a dead end. That's okay. Is that outside? Something's going on out there. Like a low rumble? What is that, a helicopter? It's too fast to be a helicopter. Like a helicopter is like, whoop, 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 whoop. you can actually hear each rotation or whatever. It's not like a vehicle either, like well a car, it's not like a truck or something. Oh, it's just an airplane. I think. There's no way you guys don't hear that, right? <laughs> what the 
I just love outdoor sounds sometimes. I have no idea why. I, I, I just do. Oh. It just reminds you that there's stuff going on out there, you know? And maybe it's none of your concern, but that's why there's other people in the world. It's to take care of those things for us, you know, so we don't have to. Anyway, that's the way forward there. But, unfortunately, we're gonna have to circle all the way back around to get to that. The good news, however, is that we have magic rope to take care of some of that. So we can also grab this little door that we opened on the way in here. This one right here. Ooh, devil heads. Hey, get some Glyves orbs. Yeah, yeah alright. Or get a Glyves orb. I wanted to kind of stay in there and fight those, but... Okay. Let's just try to get somewhere safe here. Sometimes I find myself, like, running through doors, like, hey, maybe it'll be safer on the other side, but I know it won't be. So when I get over there, whatever's there is gonna come after me. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, let's fix that pygmy nonsense, first of all. Whoa, don't be exploding my sprite over here. That's my sprite, not yours. Alright, I should be leveling up pretty soon here. I mean, I could check it out, but I don't want to. I don't want to know where I'm at on that. <laughs> it's better to just not know and then be surprised when it happens, you know. Then you're not sitting there thinking about it. Or stinking about it. Oh, jeez. So violent, I tell you. So uncivilized. Ooh, wee, look at this. More Ember Man's out here. That guy's asleep, so I might as well attack somebody else. Oh man, these doors and their hit detection, I tell you, man. Oh well, what can you do? Wow, 349? I must have added on some weapon damage to that. See, another thing I remember talking about in this was that when you cast magic, the magic damage always showed up straight away in the original. And I saw an example of where I was wrong about that last night on that stream. So they cast magic, and then they had a physical hit while the animation was going on. And it showed the physical hit, and then you had to wait to see the magic damage. After me just saying that, oh, it never does that in the remake. Or it never did that in the original. <laughs> so. I guess it's weird, because I hadn't really seen any footage or any gameplay of the original since I started playing the remake. So I really only had my memory to go off of. Which I'm not trying to say that's my excuse or something, but... But it really is amazing how much you can forget just in a little bit of time, especially when playing a different version of a game that you thought you knew so very well, but that perhaps you didn't. Also, I love hitting enemies across gaps like this when they can't get to you. I also love it when they die sooner than they seem like they're supposed to. And stay away from that. This is another room that normally I would just run through, you know, and just say, screw all the enemies, but I don't want to do that. i to take my time here. Yeah, see, I saw these guys across the gap before I came over here, but then because I went around the left side, some other enemies spawned, which caused them to despawn. It's a little weird. Oh man, these guys can really mess you up, too. Of course, I didn't get that armor in the town like maybe I should have. I was trying to, like, save my money for the really good armor in Gold City. But it's always a game of tit for tat, you know. Oh, just I didn't even see you there. Wow. Usually I can always see through your disguises, but not this time. Alright, Mr. Imp, you're gonna stop doing that, really. I said you're gonna stop doing that. Or else I'm gonna stick my sprite on over you here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That did one damage, what a miracle. 
Oh, uh, just get... Alright, seriously, get out of here. Okay, gonna cast my Cure Waters pretty soon here. How about right now? Not pretty soon. Oh, it just gained levels before I did it. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's a good time to be healed, though. You have a boss coming up here. I this, I have no... Oh, wow. Holy crap, I forgot how weird this looked. Also, I did the thing again there where I... After I pressed B to advance the dialogue, I kept the button down so that I could be charging my weapon right away. Oof. Oh, wow, that really... I feel like that should have done way more than it did. I know it's too early for this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Dog dog poison, I tell ya. So the one thing about this guy is that he can cast a spell on you, which can offset your charging if you're in the middle of it, so you're always taking a chance by doing this. Oof, boy. I know I must be doing more damage than what it's saying I am. Oh, hell. The other two are doing a pretty good job keeping him busy over there. That's what I mean, though. There we go, there it is. I saw it that time. 247. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was close. Jeez, I don't know why Sprite was down so low. Well, I thought I was charging there. I guess I wasn't. So they're like, okay, where's the bar? Where's the bar? spell is pretty cool. And usually you can imagine what a spell would feel like, you know. Like fire would probably be really hot, and ice would be cold. Wind would just be, you know, like a lot of pressure on the skin or something. I don't know. To... Well, everybody knows what wind feels like, right? I, I don't need words to describe that. But, but Dark Force, like, what would that feel like? I don't know. I can't even imagine. That's one reason why I always kind of found that spell strangely fascinating. Especially because it sounds weird, too. Oh, well, there you go. Jeez, we did that a lot faster than last time. Of course, last time, I wasn't charging my weapons like a dingleberry. Mm. Yeah, I'm supposed to call the tax guy today. Today is like March 11th, and I really don't want to put it off until April 15th like I did last year. Oh, we just shade. I am shade. Spirit. Long ago, oh, sorry. I was known as King of Mavolia, the underworld. But I was sealed here. Okay, Mavolia, that comes up later. So Mavolia is the underworld. That's worth remembering. You have lifted said seal. Take my powers as your reward. Kind of strange that Randy stands in for that cutscene when he's the one who can't use magic. But okay, whatever. Hey, I ain't questioning. Or maybe I am. Synchronize with the mana seed, and we now have a max of five mana seeds, which means we can now grind our magic up to level five. And your jacket is now dry. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention that Mystic Invasion played in here. Of course, I already said that before, I know, but I should have shut up and let it play a little. Of course, we have already heard the song. I guess if you really want to hear it, just go listen to it on YouTube, but still. It's such a good song, though, you know. I know I should be using magic rope here, I'm just too lazy. Like, I'm too lazy to take a shortcut, you know? Alright, so we're gonna go somewhere we've never been before. This little island right over here. Gold City. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. This is Gold City on the Empire's Gold Isle. 
This whole island is made of gold. By standing on it? <laughs> well, no one was using this place, so... So you just parked yourself right on in, huh? I've been waiting. Which weapon is ready for reforging? Well, what do we have here? Probably not that much. We have... Javelin? No, it's Imp Spork. Oh, man. Oh, I can upgrade the Glives, too. Why not? So that gives us the Hyper Fist. Man, that thing looks... <laughs> that thing looks like it might hurt a little bit. Hello. Welcome. Not much to see here. It's been too long since I had customers. Yeah, it's hard to have customers when you're not selling anything. Hi there. Everyone's moved to the resort up north. I'm jealous. Oh, well, don't you worry your pretty little head about it because I took care of that place. I made sure that that weather was right back to being like it should be. Snow, 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 nose, snow. Where did King Mammon find all this gold? Question for the ages. Living here is as expensive as you'd think. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you get for investing in Bitcoin. So they have. Oh, a tunnel. Hey. Secret area. This one reminds me of Mario Sunshine for some strange reason. <laughs> Alright, so this, I believe, is where you get the yes, where you get the armor, although I don't think we can afford it yet. Welcome. What will it be? Oh, maybe we can. Okay, let's have a look here. The so most important thing here is the battle suit, but I'm gonna start with the smaller stuff. Which it, wait, wait, wait. I was gonna say, okay. Uh, shield ring, I have no idea what that even does, but. One of this, one of this, and one of this. That puts us under the 90k now for the three battle suits, though, so. The flower suit looks hot and she's not even wearing it yet. Uh, we also want two duck helms and one dragon helm. Because Randy can't wear the duck helm. Anything so. else? Let's go ahead and sell what we don't need here. Okay, so selling off the stuff that's going to get replaced by what I just bought only got us to 58k. So hypothetically, if I wanted to sell some suits, I could really only sell one. So, I mean, I could sell two of them and then I could afford two battle suits, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Anything else? And Prim's battle suit will just have to wait. Since her tiger, we can't use better defense than the tiger suit. I figured I should sell the tiger suits first. Anything else? So there. I can do it. Dragon head is 66. Yeah, same as it was before. I'm only just now noticing this because before I always equipped the gear, like, like went from one piece of armor to the next, and it would show the difference, but it wouldn't show the original value. So now seeing the original value, it's all the same. All right, Papua. This is your duck helm. Your battle suit. There's your brace. Same for you, Prim. Duck helm. And there. I'm gonna have to watch our HP though, because it could get a little dicey. So I don't. I don't really think the game expects you to be able to afford this armor yet, unless you've really been pretty thorough about going through the dungeons. I haven't exactly been. You know, like rushing. I mean, I haven't been rushing through like I normally do. But I also haven't been just sticking around and grinding needlessly, either. And I had enough money to get two of them, so... And I almost had enough stamina to get all the way around that. It always bugged me, too, in the original, the way... This was an example of a place where you wished that you could dash the, the way that you can in this game. The tower at the edge of town used to be known as the Light Palace. 
Until King Mammon sealed it. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnica, but they caught him before he left South Town. Never did find that key, though. I wonder what they keep in that tower. So I guess I kind of got a little ahead of myself here. So if you wanted to progress in the game from this point, you basically just call Flaming and go to South Town. But I forgot to show why we're doing that. Because once again, it's like old habits. I already know what to do, so I just go straight to it. But yeah, and this is why you get the seats so close together here, is because when you do know what to do, it just seems worse than it is. But then you come up here and it says it's locked. This town, this palace looks totally cool. It's kind of ugly, but it's also kind of cool. I don't know. But there you go. So you, I did have to talk to that guy up there, so... Yeah, because if you don't talk to that guy, you won't get the key from the lady at South Town. And I would go ahead and do that now, but I think I'm going to save that for next time. So, next time on Secret of Mana, we'll get the key to the tower here, come back and do it and get our sixth seed. See you guys later. Oh no, there's another inn that doesn't have space for a cutscene. Ah. I was gonna go, I, I didn't show this actually, so maybe I should. This is the inn right here. It's in the northeast corner of town. So let me go find another town here. What's with those balloons? The balloons? Yeah, the ones that make your brain go up fuzzy. I kinda like them. It's sorta like stress relief. The balloons make you space out. It's nice to take a break now and then. Oh, really? I don't like them at all. I don't think you need the balloon to space out. Huh? What do you mean? Sometimes you stop and stand there for no reason. I I'm just thinking of our next move. Or looking at the map. Or looking up monster weaknesses. <laughs> sure you are. I think you just get distracted staring at Sis. Busted. You do what? I do not. Leave me alone. I'm not spacey or staring at anyone. I think you teased him too much. You should apologize. I'll do it in the morning.